What's up, Aquarius? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. Aquarius, I was shuffling your cards and same song that was playing for Aries was playing for you. And it's called, let's see, You Broke Me First by Tate McRae. Maybe you don't like talking too much about yourself, but you should have told me that you were thinking about someone else. You're drunk at a party or maybe it's just that your car broke down. Your phone's been off for a couple of months. So now you're calling me. I know you're like this. When shit don't go your way, you need me to fix it. And like me, I did. But I ran out of every reason. Suddenly, you're asking for it back. Can you tell me where you get the nerve? Yeah, you say you miss all that we had, but I don't really care how much it hurts. Because you broke me first. Oh my God. It's such a heavy ass song, but it's, it's, it is it is what it is. The song is playing right now is called Tales to Tell. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Some of you may have started off friends. Somebody may have a very sorry but not sorry type of attitude. I feel like it's when they're fed up though. What's going on with Aquarius this week? I feel like somebody's tired of pursuing something. Cause it's like, yeah, I'm pursuing it or I'm moving on with my cup of emotions, you know, taking my feelings elsewhere. But I'm really, there's, there's an energy of not really wanting to, or not want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. Something like that. But I want it. There's a new opportunity and it's like someone's pursuing it, but somebody wants to be together. I just feel like maybe they wonder if it's going to work out, but I'm very clear on what it is that I want. But what am I doing about it? Ooh, no energy is being put into it. Something about the work is lacking. Maybe there's a distraction or somebody's easily distracted. Maybe there's a desire. So, okay. That's what this looks like. There may be a new work idea, but there's something that's distracting someone. And I feel like it may be someone that they desire, but are no longer with something like that. And I feel like there's someone who's healing from that, from a connection. I feel like the feminine energy is looking at it, looking at it as a loss. Something that was maybe stealing peace. You know, from this feminine energy, it's like, I, I can't even sleep. So I'm letting go of this person that I feel like wasn't the best partner in a relationship. The feminine energy is detaching from this. The masculine energy is moving on too, but not really wanting things to be over. Feeling left out, like wanting to come, but kind of stopping themselves, feeling... This Ten of Cups kind of like just spiraling down the drain, right? That's so sad. I'm sorry. But he's starting to become less and less interested in it, lose hope in it. Realizing that it may be the right thing to do to walk away from this. Maybe even stop talking. Like really make a decision about this so that I can feel better walk away from this emotional attachment I can't get out of my head but I want to talk to you I don't want things to be over you know what I mean but they have to be it's like a lot of back and forth right and it's really feeling like the feminine energy is like I don't really care how bad it hurts 
because you broke me first. And she's like, so there's that. <laughs> so let's see. What else is going on with Aquarius this week? Seems like somebody's still trying. But there's someone here who's kind of like. Let go. You know. I'm not trying to control the outcome of this anymore. I can let it go. It's okay. This could have been someone you met in the springtime. Or that was born in the spring. Aries energy is here again. Somebody's very much focused on themselves right now. like they're still looking back at it I feel like they've, they've learned a lot from connecting with you working with you or vice versa you've learned a lot from them but some there's somebody here who's like kind of taking the lesson and and leaving the rest behind I have to take my you know where focus goes energy flows and the the I have to take my focus away from this because this person doesn't even seem emotionally available to me. But they seem to be affecting my emotions that much more. I f maybe this person's a bad communicator. Maybe they're a liar. Maybe they regret that. Maybe they're grieving over something else. Maybe they just ain't... Hmm. Maybe they just ain't. So, lovers to the two of cups in the reverse, to the ace of cups in the reverse. I've lost hope in this connection. I'm already getting over the fact that we're no longer the same. Things are not the same between us. But I don't feel quite right to open my heart up to anything else right now. I'm just trying to move on. Let me get over the fact that this didn't happen type of energy. So it's like I see someone making an offer, but somebody's trying to avoid this connection. There's no trust I'm seeing. I've been going back and forth with it, and my heart is telling me to end it. Here's the Queen of Cups again. My gut is telling me this is over already. And I can rest on the fact that this went as far as it could. Something like that. But I can rest again because I, I mentioned earlier that someone was lacking sleep. <clears throat> Moving on from a relationship to a new start. But not feeling so strong right now. It's kind of like... You survived a car accident, but then you wake up the next morning and you're like, oh my God, the pain, the soreness. Like you've been working, doing like, what's that, exercise? Tabo, ter I don't know, whatever the hell that really extreme high impact exercise is. It's like you still feel the soreness, somebody does. We got a few more minutes. Oh my goodness. The song that's playing right now is called Frozen Dreams. That's what this feels like. It's like, let's just put this on ice. Because right now it ain't doing what it's supposed to do. Or like maybe this is, like if, if I stop it right here, we can capture this. We can see it for the beauty that it was. And we don't have to go any further. We can freeze it right there. Put it in a time capsule, whatever. But let's just stop it while it's good. That's what that feels like. Get out while it's still a positive memory. Something like that. What's the advice for Aquarius for the week? Path of least resistance. Go with it. Go with it. Go with the flow. 
the less you fight, the more you're going to come out of that aloof, uh, lackluster type of energy. This might have been exactly what needed to happen. Let's see. Stop looking back, Aquarius. Because the more that you stay in that, you know, I was telling one of my Aquarius friends the other day, you know, he was venting about something and it just changed the whole mood in the house. Like it was, you know, how a person can be telling you a story and they just start reliving it. And then they see, you know, the whole energy in the house changes and you're like, whoa, let's backtrack. Bring it back. Okay. Because the more you put that energy on that past shit. Or that thing that did you make you feel happy. Like you came in here venting to me. And then it became like the whole scene was happening in my house. And I didn't like the way that that felt. And I don't have to like the way that that felt. You know what I mean? Like, but the thing about it is what ended up manifesting itself was more of that energy. Because that night ended in an argument. So it's like the more you dwell on... This past shit, the shit that didn't work out, the, the bad thing that happened in your day, whatever it is, the more that you're going to manifest more reasons to feel like that. So stop doing that. All right. Some things, everything wasn't meant to last. And I feel like this is one of those things that we're not... So I see you walking away. This could be a relationship, a job. Hierophant can represent a lot of things, right? But the distance here, the, the decision here, there was a lingering something here, but we knew that it was time to move on. All right, there it is. It felt like there should have been more said. It felt like there should have been more done. It felt like it was supposed to go further. It's like... It don't seem like this is supposed to be over, right? But the Empress is in the reverse. And the High Priestess says it's time to move on. And now the Emperor is in the reverse. We got two, we got the counterparts here. Let's look at this. The Empress feels like the masculine is got some emotional things to work through cuz see you're not a, you're not emotionally available to me. There's some things that you need to fix before you can be my partner. So I I may have to resolve things with you for now and get back on the path that's meant for me. The um the masculine energy, the emperor, they're they're letting go of the fight too. You know? I got to shift my focus away from this. This relationship isn't working. It's like I feel that it's ending and it's time for me to go ahead and go with that flow, right? And there's victory in that. Or like wanting the attention of the person still, right? I've been holding on to this, but it's time for me to be brave. Maybe this is more of, you know, we get, we become dependent on people and situations and it, and it feels very uncomfortable when things start to shift and change and you know I feel like that's what this person is going through but they may realize that this relationship was more of a hindrance to where it is that they're headed and and it's it's time to just kind of I don't know like maybe you two came together at a time where you both were transitioning could be out of other relationships, jobs, you know, somebody could have been going through rehab, whatever was going on in your life. And you two came together. It was like a trauma bond. Okay. And here's how you both end the week. The feminine energy, the temperance, the masculine energy, the strength, right? It could be dealing with Sagittarius or Leo, but what I'm seeing here is this feminine is staying where she is. Because I feel like maybe where she was prior to connecting with this masculine was in a very balanced and peaceful place. Like life was in harmony, right? 
I'm feeling like the masculine may have to move or relocate in some way or something like that. I feel like he's the one that's moving on. He's the one that's going to have to have to have the strength to move forward. To tame that whatever is going on within him. She needs to get back to where... To her center. Something like that. And I feel like maybe she was there before. I don't know, Aquarius. I'll leave you with this. Expect the best. Expect the best, Aquarius. According to some psychologists, human beings are not capable of being just friends with the opposite sex. Did I say y'all might have started out friends? <laughs> And it became more. And then it became very hard. And then, and then things became unbalanced. And then it became very hard to keep things together because I also feel like there's like some sort of transition involved in this story. Like somebody's moving or I don't know. But y'all tell me how this resonates in the comments. I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.